So this month we're talking about the thoracic spine. Very important for posture. If my thoracic spine rounds, we get that stereotypical just poor posture position. We want to have good extension of our thoracic spine, but the thing a lot of people don't think of is the ability of your thoracic spine to rotate. We want to be able to rotate our thoracic spine. That's important just for general health. And obviously I tie a lot of things into golf because everything that makes a good golfer just also happens to make a very healthy person. So if I want to be able to rotate my thoracic spine, I can do a couple of exercises that can also serve as tests to see can I actually turn my thoracic spine. So the first basic one we work on is an open book. I'm going to lay on my side. I'm going to stack my feet and knees. I'm going to try to keep my lower body very quiet. My head is in line with my spine. And I'm going to try to rotate my upper back and get both shoulders to touch the floor as I reach across. I don't want to just reach with my arm and have my shoulder in the air. It means I haven't turned my thoracic spine at all. I want to be able to turn my upper back and feel both shoulders touch the floor. If I get really good at this, I can now use my bottom arm to stabilize that lower body. I can grab onto my rib cage and now really ensure that only my upper back is rotated to the ground. So I can really feel that upper back turn. You'll feel the stretch anywhere through your shoulders, through your mid-back, depending on where you're most tight. As I get better at that, I can do other positions. I can come up on all fours, making sure my spine is neutral. Now my hips are going to kind of lock my lower body in place. I can put one hand behind my head. I can rotate my elbow to my forearm and then try to rotate my elbow to the sky. Again, that motion's got to come as I turn my chest towards the side wall. I'm rotating around my thoracic spine. I can change the position of my arm and put my hand behind my back to challenge the mobility of my thoracic spine and my shoulder. As I rotate, again, I'll become even tougher. And I can compare that side to side to feel does one side feel easier to rotate to than the other. And then if I want to now look at how my lower body impacts the posture of my upper body and the rotation of my thoracic spine, I can grab a step Eventually, you can do this from the floor, but starting out, we'll use kind of a, a riser or a step. I'm going to find neutral with my spine, squeeze my glutes and brace my core to come up in a tall plank position. I'm going to stride forward with one leg so that my shin is vertical. So this is our standard spider lunge position. And now as I keep my back nice and tall, I'm in this nice straight position from my spine. I can now rotate towards my lead leg, turning my chest and my shoulders as I rotate. I want to feel as though my spine is in the same plane. I'm not tilting backwards away. I'm rotating on the same axis. This is going to feel really easy. Now if I go into the side of the leg that's behind me, that is going to feel significantly tougher. But I should be able to create the same amount of rotation to the lead leg as I create to my trail leg. Some of you at home are going to feel like you can't quite get to 9 o'clock even because the stretch through the hips is going to limit your ability to turn your thoracic spine. But all that should be 100% pain free and that should be pretty symmetrical from side to side. Do that, you will play better golf, injury free. And even if you're not a golfer, having that great rotation of your thoracic spine is going to help to decrease incidence of shoulder pain, neck pain, headaches, and just ensure you've got really good posture.